I have the Samsung Galaxy S24 and I'll be showing you how to remove a forgotten pin, password or pattern from this phone. Now to do this, we're going to have to hard reset this phone using recovery mode. But then everything is going to be deleted just like a normal reset. But then the only thing that will remain on the phone is the Google account. Now the Google account that's currently on this phone will remain on the phone and you'll need the password for that Google account when setting up the phone afresh after the hard reset. So you won't have a password to deal with, but you'll still need the Google account that's originally on the phone, okay? So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and do this uh, removal of our forgotten password pin or pattern. So you need two things. You need a data cable and a computer. Now the data cable, you get one in the box, but of course you can use any data cable. And then a computer can be any computer. It could be a Windows computer, could be a Mac, could even be Linux, as long as it's a computer and you have the cable connected. Now, if your computer doesn't have a Type-C port, you can just find a proper Type-A to Type-C data cable and connect to any computer. Anyway, once that's connected, we're going to force a restart of this phone and while it's restarting, we are going to make sure it restarts in recovery mode, okay? So, since we cannot unlock the phone and switch off the phone, because you do need a password to be able to switch off. So, for instance, if you try to switch it off, you can see we need the password. And so that means we cannot be able to switch it off because we forgot that password. So let's go ahead and force a restart. Now, to force a restart, you'll need to long press the power and volume down, okay? Now, you're going to long press power and volume down until the screen goes off or rather the phone goes off. And as soon as it goes off, you want to let go of volume down and hold volume up while still holding the power button. Now, as soon as the Samsung logo reappears on the screen, let go of the power button and continue holding volume up and that should boot this phone in recovery mode. So it seems like a complicated process, but it's not. So let's do it together. So power, volume down, press and hold. Just ignore whatever you see on the screen. Let's keep holding. Keep holding. Phone goes off. Switch to volume up while still holding the power button. Let's wait for that Samsung logo. So let's just wait for the Samsung logo. Just keep waiting. Anytime now the Samsung logo will come up. There you go. So let go of the side button and continue holding volume up and like i said that's going to boot us into recovery mode now inside recovery mode is where you can now scroll to find the hard reset option and this is the hard reset option it's called wipe data slash factory reset now we are scrolling using the volume rockers so volume down to scroll down and volume up to scroll up so come here to wipe data slash factory reset and then use the side key to select. So select that. It's going to ask you, are you sure this cannot be undone and this will wipe all user data. So scroll down to factory data reset and then select using the side key. Now, as soon as you select it, you'll see the progress at the bottom. And as soon as, as, soon as it says wipe data complete, that means the factory reset has been completed. And now you can come back here and select reboot system now. And that's going to reboot the phone back into One UI to the initial setup screen from where you can set up your phone afresh. Now, when you set up the phone, like I said, it's going to require your password once again, the password for your Google account. So let's go ahead and do that. So factory data reset, select that. You can see the progress at the bottom. And when it says data wipe complete, as you can see, we can now come to reboot system now and select that and allow the phone to reboot back to the initial setup screen. At this point, you can even uh, unplug the cables. Okay. So let's just wait for the phone to finish the 
reboot process. So now on the setup screen, let's go ahead and set this phone up. Okay, I'll just go through the process quickly of setting up the phone. I'll, I'll set it up manually and you can already see it says an unauthorized attempt has been made to reset your device to factory default settings. That's because we did a reset or we did a factory reset without the password. So just tap OK, connect to your Wi-Fi. And then go next. And now it's going to ask for the password of the phone that was on the phone before we did the hard reset. But since we forgot that password, and that's the reason we did our hard reset, we're going to choose use my Google account instead. So tap on that. And then now it's time to sign in with the same Google account that was on the phone before. So put in your Gmail address and then tap on next and enter the password. And tap on next. Now, in case you need to verify, just go ahead and do that. And now it says, after you've put in the correct uh, Google account credentials, it's going to tell you that the previous Google account on this device has been verified. So now you can either use a new account if it's a different owner. If it's the same owner, then you can just go ahead and select add previous account so you can get back into your phone with the same Google account. That's, that's the option I'm going to choose. And then that's going to allow me to continue setting up my phone. Now, at this point where it says copy apps and data, select don't copy because if you choose to copy, it's going to ask you for the password, which you just forgot. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, select that. We're going to set up manually. Now, if you have any backups, then also a restore of any backup might require a password again. So just select don't restore and then go through your Google services, accept. And then you have the option to set up a brand new password pattern pin or even face ID and fingerprint. I'll just skip that because I can do that later. And then I'll continue with the setup process until we finish the setup process and we are all set up and back into the phone. Okay, so that is basically how to uh, remove a forgotten password pin or pattern via a hard reset on your Samsung Galaxy S24. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments and questions down below and good luck.